top of the list. Okay, and I've just finished uh, analysing the most recent batch of uh, about uh, 30 <coughs> excuse me, uh, Baccarat Win Pro uh, shoes and uh, the message comes through loud and clear as it has been for years and that is that do not bet randomly. It is stupid but uh, nobody's going to take any notice of me I don't think. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna for now. I'm just gonna stick with um, player and the uh, the fallback. Um, this is kind of in honour of, uh, of of Mo, the guy who I've been in touch with for quite a while, uh, who is a Baccarat fan and uh, and has followed um, my work, my uh, prognostications very closely for quite some time. Um, and the hop does get expensive. You do need a big bankroll for that sometimes. Um, I don't know exactly why. I'll have to look into that. But it definitely does uh, uh, ramp up the uh, exposure quite a bit. Um, that's a repeat, I think. Okay, back to the men. messed up there. I think I screwed up. Anyway, another repeat. 51. A repeat. 1, 2, 3, 4, third. Yeah, if you, it's just if you bet randomly, you're screwed. There's just no doubt about it. It's just, <laughs> and, and it's completely logical and mathematical. I mean, it's, you know, it, it, it just makes absolute sense. If you bet randomly, it's exactly the same as betting flat. You know, because it's bound to even out. Uh, that's one, two, third. That worked for us. Yeah, I have to try and sort of make people understand how meticulous I am with all of these things. I, you know, there's no point in me cheating. I'd be shooting myself in the foot if I did that. Um, I think that's... No, I think that's a repeat. One, oops. One, two. Three, four. Oh dear. 7-4 minimum. Seven four it is. One, two, three, four. Seven four eleven eight. Now three four. Uh, let's make it 3-5. Okay, that's a little bit nicer. So we won 10, lost 11. And we're running decently as far as uh, average win over average loss. That's very important. It just is. And falling back to the minimum, you know critical stuff. We're just plus winning right now, then we're going to repeat that. Okay, so back to minimum on that one. Double for the loss. One, two, third bet. Three, two, fall back. The thing that's funny, of course, is that, you know, when I do the analysis, I have to use all the all the rounds um, because it's all algorithmic. It just, it, you know, it's just automatic. And uh, it's quite an eye-opener. You know, I mean, there's loads of times where I would have been way better off to hang in there. But that's the difference between playing in real time and playing with a, a model. Um,
why am I at two I'm, I've lost myself here 25 50 200 Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. See, I, I let myself go there. Um, so I think we're lost 25, lost 50, lost 200, lost 25. So that's uh, 3, 2. So it's 1, 2 now. 3, 4. Okay, so we're out of that. Not spectacular, this uh, shoe, but on the other hand, we've got a long way to go. We're only about halfway through, so let's see what happens. You just never know. And this is the thing that really gets me, is that, you know, these people peddling, or they are mostly selling them, these so-called predictive things. It's just, and, and, and pattern analysis. I mean, I'm not, I'm not ever sort of saying well after x amount of time banker will win or player will win or whatever all i'm doing is saying let's make sure we've got the right amount of money in place the right bet on the table just in case and every time we make a bet we face negative expectation but behind that negative expectation is the reality of patterns which betting road the betting road down here tells you eloquently every time I run through one of these sessions on Baccarat Win Pro and I can't possibly express how terrific I think this this simulation is because it does give you everything you need to know and it doesn't enable you to predict the future never that does not happen but you know and again I've lost myself through wittering okay 25 50 so one, now we're plus one -ing. all right now we're going to repeat that and now we're on two three third one two three five three minimum five three it is just in case no guarantees two three you know, we're just we're just trying to, as I am constantly saying, we're just trying to go with the flow. You know, just just somehow just get in there. And I was thinking the other day. I mean, I I wrote a long time ago on the blog, but uh, um, I'm, I'm going to repeat it now. And that is that um, swimming upstream, which is what I'm doing, is fine. It's 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 you know you can accomplish the task if it's just the current against you that you're dealing with. But when you've got people throwing rocks at you from the sidelines, from the riverbanks, then uh, that makes life a little bit more difficult. Not not impossible, but a little bit more difficult. So, you know, anyway, back to the men. And that's what I've got. You know, I've constantly got people telling me, mathematically, you got that wrong, and then you're cheating, and you're... Oh, 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 oh. And uh, much less than I used to get. I used to get a lot of abuse. It, it doesn't happen that much now. Maybe it's because I've lost my audience completely. Who knows? One, two. Three, four, third, third, third. Seven, four, minimum. Whoops. Don't want that. Seven, four, minimum. Seven four it is, just in case we don't know for sure. Three four, give us another player. Uh, three four it is, that's already a turnaround bet. So there we go, we're out of that. You know, we're not. We've we've won twenty six and we've lost twenty five, right? Twenty six players, twenty five bankers. So it's about as even a shoe as you could get, and yet, you know, we're thirteen hundred ahead. You can only do that with a strategy. It doesn't have to be this one. I would recommend this one because it's the one that I trust, but that's up to you. Um, hmm. Add one more. Oh dear, don't like these triple fifty they're doubles, but I do it anyway. All right, now we're back to 125. 
we've got to chase that. So three, four, third, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's 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 not bad, is it? We're at thirty twenty seven now. Double for the loss. Uh, double for the tie. Oh boy. Double for the tie. Uh, that's three four is the third. Seven four back to the minimum. Seven four it is. One, two, three, four. Oh eleven eight. Three four. One, two, three, four. That's already a turnaround. Okay, we, 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 the this shoe is definitely smiling on us. I mean, look at this: thirty-three one, thirty-two lost, eighteen seventy-five ahead. I mean, you know, t don't tell me you can do that with random betting. It's just ridiculous, ridiculous. Oh, watch these clowns doing their thing. I mean, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, let's uh, snap that. I'll do two shoes this time, I think, but I will look at the um, summary. So save the shoe. Results, play shoes. Green it up. Pull it up. And where do we go? Lowest was there. Yeah, you bring any any kind of order, any sort of discipline into betting, um, other than fixed betting, which is order and discipline, but is doomed. Um, but any, anything other than that, and you've got a chance. This is 602, uh, and we're looking at uh, 6550 divided by, look at that, 3333, that's very funny. 4700, uh, <coughs> excuse me, divided by 33, plus, minus, Alexa, 6550 divided by 33. 6550 divided by 33 is approximately 198.4848. Alexa, 4700 divided by 33. 4,700 divided by 33 is approximately 142.4242. Okay, Alexa, 198 divided by 142. 198 divided by 142 is approximately 1.3944. 139%, quite like that. Okay, not terrible. Uh... I mean, let's uh, let you know. Just look at the common sense of this. I mean, we we won 33 and we lost 33. Betting randomly or flat, then we would break even. That's the the logical, mathematical, sensible, scientific, thoughtful, obvious conclusion. Okay, but we didn't do that. We won 1,850. And we did that because even though we had exactly the same number of wins as losses, our wins were on average 39% more than our average loss. And so that's how we achieved what we achieved. And it's, it's really interesting that it's such a hard sell. And, and that's the wrong, I'm always telling myself, that's the wrong way to put it. Because I'm not selling 
anything. But it's, it seems to be a hard thing for people to grasp. And I think that they struggle with it simply because everybody is programmed to believe that house games, casino games, negative expectation games are unbeatable. Bottom line, end of story. And it's just not true. Now, yes, when you look at these, um, you know, summaries of mine from Baccarat Win Pro, you will see every so often horrendous losses, you know, 322,000 there, 350,000, 916,000. And the only time that happens is when I say, OK, I'm going to chuck the rules out and I'm going to see, does this work? Does that work? Um, you know, maybe if I tried this, maybe if I did that. And so basically what I do is in those situations, for whatever reason, maybe it's because of some mental deficiency or whatever, I fall into being just a regular gambler, a regular gamble, gambler with a lot of money behind him, you know, and, and, and I bet like a prat. Um, the one thing I did with 577 there, which was, a, which was a nasty loss, was I did try with that to just fall back to backing player and, uh, and, and doing the skip. And then I got to the point in there where I'm thinking, this is, there's just no way that I would stick around through this. It's horrible. I'd be mad to, uh, to, you know, to keep betting against this shoe. Step back. Take a breath. Walk. Talk. Get fresh air, drink coffee, beer, whatever, go and have a nap, anything, rather than just bend over for more uh, abuse. And, um, and of course, by bend over, I mean as in, as in sort of like being caned. I'm not thinking about anything weird. Uh, <laughs> maybe I am, I don't know. But when I say, you know, DBO used to be another expression I used a lot on the... Uh, uh, you know, in, in my various um, uh, presentations on the internet, but most recently in the last 15 years on the blog, I'd say, you know, the DBO rule is don't bend over. So, you know, if if uh, you're up against something which is really sticky and really unpleasant and uh, stressful, just back away. Walk away from it. Remember your important numbers, your down and out, and and just resume play somewhere else anywhere else another game another layout another casino another country whatever but just remember that when you go from an unrecovered sequence of bets make sure that you recover before you fall back to your minimum don't do what these clowns do all the time on these various uh, so-called professional gambling channels what they do is that after every shuffle they fall back to the minimum after you know e each session starts with a minimum ridiculous you know you've got whatever you've got you've got a known amount that you need to recover so if you're 5,000 down it doesn't make any sense to bet 500 you know with with this strategy what you yes you certainly do fall back to the minimum and you start but as soon as you get the trigger, the wind trigger that tells you, OK, maybe or maybe not, but maybe there'll be another wind coming right after this one. So let's get a bet out there which will help us get closer to recovery. And in some cases will actually enable us to recover. You know, so that's what you have to do. And, and, and to just bop around, you know, I mean, like like um, Jason, uh, Mr. HP, he, he'll bet from 500 to, what did I think his highest bet was 6,000. And I think in the end, uh, he had a, uh, a four split. So he had 24,000, four times 6,000 out on the table. And he won that time. And great, good for him, you know, and he felt really good about it. But most of his win... Uh, in, in his second session was from that single win because he won 27,500 totally in the two sessions the first of which was horrible you know and um, most of his money came from that but that's fine that is the game you know I'm not uh, criticizing Jason for that because that is reality that's how blackjack is anyway I'm going to go on to the second uh, uh, of two shoes now. I'm going for a sort of a two shoe minimum because that gives me two shoes that I can then process through uh, 
through the model. Ah, okay, so we've got uh, right now, oh, no, back to player, back back to minimum, because minimum was where we were. Oh, actually, I think we lost, so I think we're on 50. Because I think we lost 25 at the, on the last one, the very end. Let me have a look. Sorry you can't see these, but uh, I can. Uh, bu -bu 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 yeah, all right, so we lost 25, so we're betting 50 here. All right, so it's one, two, and that's good. Back to the minimum. Very, very important. Plus one for the win. Uh, 51 second. Two, three, third. <coughs> Excuse me, so sorry about all my awful noises. My doctor friend was here for lunch today. And he keeps saying the same thing. Just drink water. Oh, and he gave me some menth mentholated crystals that are supposed to uh, boost my something or other. I don't know. Whatever. Um, what was that? Okay. Plus one for the win. 51 second. Repeat. One, two... That's nice. A little extra boost there. Plus one for the win. 51. Repeat. One, two, second. Three, four, third. Yeah, this is the thing, you know, when you actually get into the flow with a with a uh, a shoe, it's really fun. <laughs> but we're ahead nine to six right now, so I can't, I can't really get much credit for that. Uh, double for the loss. Double again for the tie. Uh, back to the minimum. Double for the loss. Repeat. Back to the min. Double for the loss. One, two, third bet. Three, two, minimum. Three, two, money on the table. Three, four, now. Remember, you don't do anything in response to a tie if the, if the previous bet is over 100 unless it enables you to convert from a mid-recovery bet to a potential turnaround. And remember, potential is always the key word, the key thing to keep in your mind. Every time we place a bet, we've got negative expectation of somewhat less than 1.5%. But patterns may take care of us. We don't know for sure. So now we're on 3-4. Oh dear, seven eight. Second. All right, so we squeak by on that one, and squeaking is all we need to do. We do not need to. Squeaking is fine. Double for the loss. Ah. Uh, one two. Sorry. Brain fade. Three to minimum. Three to it is. Come on, play it. One, two. Okey doke. And you know, lots of folks, folks are going to say, well, you just got lucky, you just got lucky. Well, I mean, if it happens shoe after shoe after shoe after shoe after shoe after shoe, when are they going to get with the program, damn it? 51. Repeat. One, two, second. What are we at now? 21, 18 lost. 
1400 a head. I mean, come on, folks. You can't do that with random betting. It just isn't possible. Just isn't possible. Another plus one. And that's not to say this doesn't get shitty once in a while, but you know what? That's the game. <laughs> one, two, three, four, four, five. Okay, well, we'll repeat that one. And we're out. So back to the main. Double for the tie. 51 second. Two, three, third. Oh, we've got, we got another kind shoe here. But it's not super kind. You know, it's what, 27, 21? Uh, well, that's pretty nice. All right, shut up here. Plus one. Fifty-one second. Repeat. All right, crack two thousand at least. Minimum. Plus one. Da -da 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 Double for the tie. Plus one. Well, repeat that one. Three, four, third, one, two, three, four, three, four, third. Oh, look at this. It really is going our way. I mean, you know, but, 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 what can I say? Random betting wouldn't work. Because all these guys with their with their, uh, their channels, what they're doing is they're waiting for a winning streak. They're waiting to get more wins than losses, and you know, sometimes they're going to have to wait a long time. I mean, there's another guy, Cody, something a Canadian guy. He should be the next one kicked off uh, YouTube because he really is a oh dear, what a mess. Uh, how do we get on there? We won, we won that one. We squeaked that one didn't we so uh, back to the min double for the loss one two third bet three two minimum try again try again three two it is I don't think we're going to get away with this one 5-4, I think this is probably going to be our last bet. So let's call it 5-6. Oh dear! Okay, well I regret that. But 11-6, uh, I'm going to go on to the third, I think. Just for the hell of it. No. 11-12. Okay, so save that, and I'll just go straight into the next shoe. Oi, 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 this could be nasty. 11, 12, third bet. Oh, like that. Bravo. Uh, should I just walk away? What do you think? One, two, three. I'm going to be. I'm going to regret this. Three, two, minimum. Okay, three, two. It is one, two, five, four. Come on, come on. Let's turn around. One, two. E three four. Okay, I'm going to call it quits here because I'll get the full shoe anyway when I uh, <clears throat> when I pull this down for um, for the analysis. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach 
the model analysis to this for the next uh, presentation on YouTube. And, you know, it would be great if eventually enough people come to realize that going into a casino with a limited bankroll and betting randomly is simply not a smart thing to do under any circumstances. I mean, I don't see how fear can be fun. I don't know. I mean, maybe there are people out there who are excited by, thrilled by the prospect of losing money that in most cases took them way longer to earn than it takes them to throw away, to donate to the casino. Um, you know, it's, it's nuts. I mean, like, you know, the average, uh, the average loss now for every, everybody coming to Las Vegas is now somewhere approaching $2,000. How long does it take the average person to earn $2,000? I mean, even, even at 50 an hour, which not that many people make, even at 50 an hour, that's 40 hours. That's a week's work. And they blow it very quickly because it's not enough. And it's like I'm always saying, if you can't afford to win, you shouldn't play. You know, I mean, spend your money on all the other things that you like in Las Vegas, but don't flush it down the toilet. I mean, you know, these days the casinos are making tons of money from food and, and, and hotel rooms. In the old days, they made bugger all from food and hotel rooms. They were, the they were the lost leaders to get people into the casinos. Now, stupidity has risen to such a level that people will pay premium prices for rooms and food and still throw away 2000 apiece. So, well, where's the sense? But anyway, enough waffle. I'll um, put this up sometime in the next couple of days and I'll attach the... Uh, updated analysis as well and I'm learning some real interesting stuff I mean because I'm playing around with things a bit more than I used to I've been doing this for so many years that a little bit of a change now and then a little bit of um, um, sort of a different approach is is fun and the input I get from people who read the blog and people who are now um, you know communicating with me via whatever um, on the uh, uh, on YouTube, it's great. You know, I mean, it, it it just it's keeping it interesting because it does get a little <sighs> after a while. So you know, and maybe it is that for you already. I don't know. But uh, what am I doing here? I'm going to print the screen. Get out of this early. Oh, I should do the analysis. Sorry, folks. You're going to have to stick with me a bit longer. Just speed to the end. You know what to do. Green that one. Pull that up. Didn't go very low, did we? I don't know where we're at with this one. Can't remember. I mean, I know we did win, didn't we? We made thirteen hundred. Yeah. So let's have a look. Six oh three. Looks a bit iffy to me. Four, eight hundred, and three five hundred. Thirty four. And again, you know, almost the same. So that random betting, you would you would be lucky if you broke even. Lose a little bit. Alexa, four thousand eight hundred divided by thirty four. Four thousand eight hundred divided by thirty four is approximately one hundred and forty one point one seven six five. Alexa, three thousand five hundred divided by thirty three. 3,500 divided by 33 is approximately 106.0606. 106. 106. Uh, 106. Alexa, 141 divided by 106. 141 divided by 106 is approximately 1.3302. All right, so that's not too bad, is it? Um... 
Oh, I didn't notice that I got two shoes there. Um, skip, drop, one for one divided by one oh six equals one three three percent. I mean, I can't say it often enough. You've got to win more when you win than you lose when you lose in order to bloody 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 blah. But who cares, right? <laughs> uh, but it really isn't. It really isn't my worry. But I just feel that if a few few of people, just a handful of people, save their money or make money because of what I'm doing, then I'm. As they say in England, a happy bunny. In America, as you all know, it's a happy camper. In England, for some reason, it's a happy bunny. 6th of April. Okay, shoes 604. Uh, 2025 divided by 4 is 506. And seven <coughs> is a hundred and three. What was that? Seven twenty five divided by seven. So we lost lost seven and one four and we still came out all right, didn't we? So, you know. You've got to take that into account when you're asking yourself, does this really work? Um one hundred and three. Alexa 506 divided by 103. 506 divided by 103 is approximately 4.9126. 491 percent. I think that counts as a win, don't you? I do think so. Did I copy that? All right. I'm getting so absent-minded. It's the wind. Uh, skip, drop, 506 divided by 103 equals 1%. All right, folks, finally, if you stuck with me, drop me a line, I'll send you a middle. Thanks for your time, and I do hope this is helpful. Bye. All right then, so I'm going to try and keep this short, but <laughs> it's going to be difficult. Anyway, all I want to do with this is this is this is one of the many, many um, Baccarat models that I have set up in um, in Excel. But I found this particular experiment interesting because um, I asked one of my many, many, many my goodness, I mean, probably three or four really uh, faithful followers to uh, go to a thing on YouTube called BNB, BNB, uh, Baccarat Shoes. And what they do basically on that, uh, on that channel is that every three or four days they put up 500 new randomly generated shoes. And they're now in at about 350 times 500, which is what, 175,000 shoes. Bloody, 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 blah. But anyway, I asked uh, Mo to, uh, to just go there and pick a number from 1 to whatever the current uh, uh, pr presentation is numbered. And then within that, pick, uh, uh, you know, 10 numbers from, uh, from 1 to 500, which he duly did except he picked 11 okay and then what i did is just uh punch those into the uh the model here uh using the uh the bead plate as they call it um so that it's very easy to you know to follow to put uh, to put the necessary information in here in the format that my model can read and um, what happened then, of course, was that uh, we got a, uh, a read back from those 11 
uh, shoes from BNB, um, he picked uh, uh, session number 282 and numbers 20 to 30, which of course is 11 rather than 10, but that's okay. Um, and uh, we got a result which looked uh, like the one that you see in front of you right now, which is a win of uh, 69,000 plus, 20% uh, of action. Um, the uh, the actual value, in other words, the, the you know the number of wins versus the number of losses, was in banker player terms, just plain banker player terms, uh, 0.3%. The hop changed that completely to 4.6%, and that's over here on the right above the chart. And uh, you know we got a very a, a very positive result, which is which is great. Um, not a surprise to me at all, but uh, but I was very anxious to do that, just so that uh, uh, my uh, uh, my friend Mo could uh, uh, could get a sense of of how generally the uh, uh, the whole strategy works. In other words, I got him to supply the data rather than doing it myself, which. Most people trust me because they look at the complexity and the and the accuracy of these models, and they say, "Well, okay. I mean, he'd have to be nuts to be uh, to be faking this." Um, and of course, maybe I am. I have to be nuts to be doing it at all, I guess. But anyway, the other thing that I did was that uh, after um, uh, Mo had supplied this, and then I'd sent him the uh, the relevant information, uh, the summary of uh, of how we did. Uh, he then sent me a couple of uh, bead plates from recent games that he played on the 30th of March. So that, what's that? The weekend bef before this one? That's a week ago. Uh, that he'd played at his uh, local Baccarat Palace, whatever it is. It's a casino somewhere or other in uh, in California. And uh, and of course, here underneath the chart, you've got a summary of how everything went. Uh, along with rollovers and so on. We had one shoe, uh, number eight on my list, which is BNB 282.28, no, wrong, 282.27, uh, where we ended up losing 75. Um, but with this strategy, you, you never walk away from a, uh, in the middle of a recovery. You don't, you, you wait until you've turned around, until you've reached your target before you back away, unless of course you decide to abandon the whole thing, which is crazy, because then you have to work very hard to, to, to recover your losses. So the thing is you have to have a very large bankroll behind you so that you can weather serious uh, challenges, and they will come, they will come, they're bound to. You are playing a negative expectation game, so every so often that's going to run in the house's favour to the point where it's really dangerous. And, uh, you know, you've got to be ready for that. It is complete madness to go up to any of these table games without a shitload of money. And I've been saying that I, for all these years. I mean, ever since, well, I think my first uh, presentation on, on the Internet was about 1996. I just discovered the, the World Wide Web, as it was then called. Um, you know, and, and uh, I started uh, putting up stuff because... My motivation has always been, quite simply, gambling is fine so long as it's not doing harm. And it isn't a matter of just harm to the people who choose to gamble. I mean, if they're dumb enough to blow away everything that they've worked for and, and bankrupt themselves, then okay, fine. The trouble is the vast majority of gamblers are not gambling with their own money. Some of it is theirs, but it also belongs to their families, their dependents, their college fund for the kids, their grocery fund, their mortgage fund, their, their car payment fund, their bloody, 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 blah. And in all the years that I lived in Nevada, I saw the damage that can be done, that is done on a regular basis, never mind the two suicides a week that apparently occur in uh, Las Vegas alone. Uh, every year, it's at least two a week. Um, you know, the, the the problem is that in Nevada, in particular, everything is run by the casinos. The whole state government is owned by the casinos. 
That's not an exaggeration. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's simply a historical fact that routinely the state government bends over backwards and forwards to accommodate the casinos, whatever they want. So that you have a situation where ATMs are all over casinos, giving people easy access to money that probably isn't theirs. Um, people are allowed, uh, are encouraged to cash their paychecks. They come from work, they go to the casino, they cash their paycheck, they blow the lot because they get stoked up with, with so-called free booze, blow everything, go home with nothing. At, uh, you know, at the end of, of, of the working week, the working day, whatever. So, you know, that's, that's my problem. And it's not a moral judgment. It's a simple economic judgment because it's wrong. And, of course, I should confess, in my time, I have done no, not great crimes simply because I didn't have huge bankrolls behind me. But the amount of time that I spent researching gambling distracted me from other things that I could have been doing to make actual money. I was working for newspapers and magazines all over the United States, all, all around the world. I was a syndicated journalist, and my specialis, uh, my, my, you know, I specialised in, in the entertainment industry. So I spent a lot of time in Hollywood doing all that kind of stuff. I could have done a lot more, but I became absolutely focused, not full-time, but every spare moment that I could possibly grab, either at my computer, working on the rapidly evolving spreadsheet programs that became available. I, mean, I started with VisiCalc, and then I ended up, I mean, here I am with, with uh, uh, Excel in front of me. And, uh, you know, obviously as these programs have expanded, the lie that the casinos have been promoting for years that their games can't be beaten becomes more and more of a lie because, you know, you can produce masses of material that shows what liars they are. But anyway, in this particular part of this presentation, I just wanted to show you this particular bit where, um, where Mo uh, supplied me with, uh, with shoes. And what, as I say, what I did with each of one of these things is I took the bead plate uh, and then uh, translated that into the data that you see in uh, in column F, uh, and and you know that worked absolutely great. Um, I'm very happy with that, and uh, you know there you got it. I mean it's just it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on, and each of the green bars, of course, is a turnaround. So that's a successful turnaround. You, it isn't always easy. We had one thing here where we went all the way up to five grand. And then we turned around, and our, and our the fruits of our labours was uh, 575, which is what we got as our reward for risking 10,000. Now, lots of people have said, "Well, winning 500, 600 bucks, pounds, whatever, peanuts, uh, uh, donuts, uh, sue, whatever," um, you know, that's not great for risking 10,000. Well, actually, when you keep on doing it over and over again, it's bloody great, I'm telling you. So, uh, so there you are. Uh, another one of these things, um, what did we get? I got... Uh, one of these things has lots of little fancy graphs that, uh, that show the, uh, the action, but I'm, I'm not, not seeing it right now. Where the hell are they? Oh, there they are. Okay. This is, this is a big part of, uh, of what I'm arguing all the time. Up, the ups and downs simply show patterns. And these just demonstrate that the patterns that I'm always banging on about really do exist. So you get a little run of wins and a little run of losses. And the whole point of what we're trying to do is to say, OK, we hit a losing streak. We're going to sort of like, uh, we're, we're, we're going to go into the fetal position. We're going to bet as little as we possibly can. And we're just going to get and run away. And uh, and so that's what uh, that's what happens, and uh, and time after time with these things, you get to see the um, uh, the ups and downs number there, which uh, which I think is uh, is highly illustrative of what I've been trying to tell you, and even in this one, I mean, you look at this one here, it's all red, isn't it? You know, but we still came out with a win at the end. 
we came out with a win of 6,825 at the end of that shoe. That's number 577 from the um, uh, from the Baccarat Win Pro shoes. And please don't tell me that they're not real. They are real. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're as real as anything that you'll see in, in, in casinos. And the people who say they aren't are all people who are working for the casinos who say, you know what, it's not the same, you know. It damn well is. Um, you know, but anyway, that's... That's the message I wanted to get across. And then the other one that really makes me smile is if I go away all the way to the top tag up here. Um, this is um, 43,000, nearly 44,000. All of the of the Baccarat Win Pro shoes that I've played over the last eight months, whatever it is, since I started with them. And, and I just want to reiterate the fact that I have no connection with them at all except for the fact that I love I love the simulation. I love the information it gives me. I love the replay uh, capabilities that it offers, so that if I screw up, then I can I can have a do-over, and all of that stuff, of course, has to be uh, has to be taken into account. And 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 in my um, summaries, you'll find that in some shoes I lost an absolute fortune. And what happens there is that I'm saying, okay, so I'm going to dump the the pattern betting thing and try this. And then I'm, then, and then of course I think, uh oh, this doesn't work. I'm in the middle of the shoe. But then I think, um, well, I can't stop doing it because that isn't, you know, that's not kind of accurate. That's not the right way to do things. So I'm going to play through to the end. And then I finally, <laughs> when I get to the end, I think, damn, that was a waste of time. And uh, and indeed it was. So there you have it. Anyway, uh, you've got a situation here where. Um, uh, the hop uh, changed a uh, negative 1.3%, which is about as close as you could possibly get to negative expectation anyway, the well-known negative expectation for Baccarat, which is uh, a back, a banker over player by about 1.35%, or at least that's the house edge. And, of course, the complication with the banker is that uh, really... Uh, the the, uh, the banker win there is not what it seems to be. It should be reduced by 5% because those wins are all .95, not uh, 1.0 wins. They're not uh, even money wins. They're 95% uh, uh, they're wins. So that does uh, uh, change the picture a bit. And that, of course, is where the house advantage comes from. But anyway, we ended up eliminating the, the negative expectation but then it was pattern betting that delivered the profit. And um, the profit is only 84% of the max because uh, commission cost us 16%. And that's one of my problems with commission. I often whinge and moan about it because it's not 5%. At, at the end of a long session of play, you will end up paying considerably more than 5%. The reason being, of course, that they don't give you back you know, they don't sort of say, OK, well, you just lost 500 on bankers, so we'll only take 495. That isn't how it works. They take the whole 500, but if you win the 500, then they pay you 495. So, you know, that's all I'm, uh, that's all I'm saying. Um, or is it 49750? Whatever. Um, yeah, uh, 500, 10% uh, is 50. Okay, I was, I 475. But anyway, it's nasty, and what I tend to do when I'm playing, as anybody who's who's walked with me through some of the shoes that I've posted, uh, is I will say after a while, okay, commission is now standing at 200, so I'm going to bet an extra 200 on banker and get that back. And uh, I don't always manage it, and sometimes it makes things a little tricky. But uh, anyway, the main point is these models are absolutely a bazillion percent, no, 100 <laughs> percent accurate. Can't go above 100%. I've worked with some guys for a few months who were just so so ridiculous. They had this product and they kept saying it is 110% more effective than anything, blah, 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 whatever. And of course it was, you know, just nonsense. Uh, they, they, uh, math was not their strong point. They're not, not their strong subject. Uh, let's see, what do I have here? 4.3 average, okay. 85% of all wins were one win turnarounds. 97% were either one or two win turnarounds, and the remaining 3% were, uh, it took three wins to turn around. Doesn't happen very often. We've got some nasty little dips here which were bankrupts because what I did was I set it up so that 
um, at, uh, if you lose five times the max, then you just bail out and, and say, okay, that's it, I've had enough. Um, so we had one, two uh, uh, crash and burns here, and then the rest of the time it was, uh, it was plain sailing. And that's the way it goes. And of course, when you, when you go and look at the worst case scenarios, the point that I always make is it's ridiculous sometimes. You know, nobody would hang around for the kind of punishment that you're getting here. I mean, for instance, with this, you know, we had uh, four wins in a row, and then it started to go south. And I think around here, I would have said, OK, it's, it's going against me now, so I'm going to step back. I'm going to roll over the, uh, the down and out numbers, but I'm not going to stick around for this because it's, it's, it's gone against me. The, the message that I've tried to get across so many times in, in these presentations and in all the stuff that I've been writing over the last ugh, you know, how many years, it's nearly 30 years, is it doesn't matter if you get up and go somewhere else as long as you take your down and out numbers with you, which is your LTD, which is the abbreviation I used to use for loss to date. Now I call it the target um, it's your recovery target. It's what you need to uh, uh, to, to end a, a skirmish against the game, uh, which which will always go against you. Every bet is uh, is facing negative expectation. Not just some of them, but every one. And and you never know what's coming next. Obviously, we all know that. But anyway, I'm rambling on again now. So uh, let's see. That's that lot there. And then there's another lot here where we're at 18.2. Uh, I just showed you that lot. Uh, another one here, 18.6 of total action. Uh, bu 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 oh, this is a funny one. I, this was just for, for a bit of a laugh. Um, what I did was I set it up so that uh, every seven bets, you switch from pa a player to banker or banker to player. Just to see, you know, just, just for the hell of it. Just why not, you know. And... Um, uh, the switch is up here, so you could change that to, I don't know, five. And uh, what will happen? Let's see. It's, it, it, there's such a lot of information on this spreadsheet that it takes a while to chew through it all. But OK, so switch every five, and that's not quite as good. We drop to 14%. Switch every three, regardless. I think we go negative there. That would be my guess. I would be wrong, but look at this. We had to go down to 1.2 million at one point. Um, switch every, let's say, nine. Come on. Okay, so that's, you know, we, we shoot back to 22.5, and there's only, what, 2,400 uh, bets in there. So, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty healthy. Um, you know, and, and uh, you could make it third. Well, the, the whole point of all of the things up here is any number, any one of these things can be changed and you'll get an immediate readout of, of uh, no, you won't, I will. I, I don't give these things away to anybody. Um, you know, but, uh, but this, th this is how I get my information and this is what drives my confidence in, uh, in pattern betting. It's because I have these models. I can drop in... Uh, uh, data sets that are either, uh, you know, that I've collected myself or that I've asked somebody else, as I did with Mo, you know, to, to just, okay, just tell me which shoes you want me to, to, to bet against and, uh, you know, with pattern betting and we'll see how it goes. So uh, there you have it. And going back to Mo's, um, the last uh, couple were, uh, were his, um, I think Golden West, I think the place is called. Uh, yeah, Golden West Casino, and I didn't uh, copy the B plate there because it just it isn't in quite the same format. I had it in picture form, um, but it didn't. Uh... There we go. Yeah, these th these two are the Golden West ones. So the Golden West ones that he played against, uh, one of them we'd have made three thousand five hundred twenty-five. Wouldn't have been in pounds, of course, because it was in, uh, in Bakersfield. Um, and then the other one was how much? About the same. Both, you know, about about three thousand um, dollars, and again, you know, the the green bars show successful turnarounds, 
And uh, so that's how it is. That's uh, that's the story, folks. And you can take it or leave it. I really don't care. But for me, it's just a matter of getting everything on the record so that people who care about the challenges that they're facing and want to be prepared uh, will, I hope, get some benefit out of, out of this stuff because anybody betting randomly is dumb. It ain't going to work. Yes, you'll have little streaks where you do incredibly well. This guy, uh, um, Cody Burnett, uh, who I'm hoping that uh, uh, YouTube will ban pretty soon because he's a loony tune. Uh, he just had a uh, a thing that he put on uh, up on YouTube. In the first thing, he lost four bets and won 16. Um, the other one, he was one and a half bets ahead. And the next one, he lost nine and won 13 and a half bets. So overall, he had... Uh, he, wa he was 18 ahead of the house after 44 bets, right? I mean, that's a player edge of 41%. So, like, he might be pretending to you that he won all that money because he's a blackjack genius. He is not. He's a nut. You know, there's no doubt about it. An absolute irresponsible looney tune. Uh, but he, because he had 18 more wins than losses, he cleaned up. Now... Is he going to post the, uh, uh, the the sessions where he goes in the toilet? Probably not. That's not the way these people work. And of course, they make tons of money from Google because of their hundreds of thousands of, uh, of eager, breathless followers. Um, I'll never understand what uh, vicarious gambling is all about. It's kind of like, I don't know, watching golf, you know, only sillier. Uh, but that's just my opinion. I, I do tend to have rather too many opinions for some people's comfort. But uh, but there you are, because I'm old, I guess. But anyway, there you go. End of story. And um, and I'm going to bung this on the end of um, on the end of the latest uh, offering. And uh, as I always say, your money, your choice. And uh, nobody has to listen to me. I don't have a gun to anybody's head. But if, uh, if people have an open mind, they will find stuff here that will help them lose less and hopefully win a whole lot more. It all depends on the bankroll. The only way to go into these games is to keep in mind that the house has vastly more money than any of us, including Don Johnson, the guy who is currently this sort of like the, uh, the winningest uh, blackjack player in uh, in the USA. Uh, he may also be one of these people who doesn't post his losses, but we do know that uh, um, he's pretty damn slick. I think he's probably using a, a strategy pretty much like this one. Uh, he's satisfied the casinos that he's not a card counter, so that leaves them scratching their heads and wondering, well, what the hell is he doing? Because this is not a winnable game. It might be a winnable game for somebody like Cody Burnett, for five minutes or for ten minutes or for half an hour or whatever. But uh, over the long term, no, 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 not a winning game. And neither is anything else in the casino unless you have a plan. Oh, and did I mention the gigantic big fucking bankroll? You need that too.